Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and thank you for watching. So if you've been following my videos, I've been rather enthused with a distribution called Antergos or Antergos. Uh, I'll get it right one day. Uh, and several people have sent me links and I appreciate that. Links to the pronunciation, how to say the word. And I did a little digging and just thought maybe you would uh, find it interesting to know that the word actually means ancestors, which I thought was kind of cool. So we could call this Ancestor Linux. All right, so with that said, uh, I had a few requests for the XFCE desktop, and while I had installed it earlier in the week and uh, spent a little time with it and was very impressed with the speed and everything naturally because it's XFCE, for whatever reason, I didn't do a video. I moved on and I skipped doing a video on that. So since I've had a few requests, I wanted to go ahead and post this. Now, this one is different, so in hindsight, I wish maybe I had done an, a video earlier because when you launch into this, number one, you do not see the square Numix theme that you typically see uh, as I've installed, or that you did see as I installed the other desktop environments. So I wanted to point that out. The other thing I found kind of odd, for whatever reason, there was no volume icon uh, for volume settings anywhere in the panel. I actually had to add that. And then another difference that you'll see here, especially if you have been running Manjaro uh, with their default XFCE desktop, you will be used to what is called the whisker menu and so by default there is no whisker menu in this particular uh, setup uh, default setup as you launch in what you will find is this straightforward uh, list menu which for me is perfectly fine I appreciate this um, you know I have no problems with this however I will say that the whisker menu is very nice and uh, so once you log in uh, those are a few things that will maybe stand out to you uh, that will be different from um, of course what you see in Manjaro with the whisker menu but all that said it's very easy to install the whisker menu so we're gonna step through that process now I already have it installed but I just want to step through this so that you can see what it is you'll do uh, you'll click on applications and you'll go to system add remove software and you will not even have to turn on the Arch user repository for this to uh, to pull up and you'll simply type whisker now once that uh, has popped up you'll see XFCE4 whisker menu plugin you'll click that and you'll click apply and um, you will then have installed the whisker menu now the whisker menu will not show up here by default you will actually have to go in and add that to the panel so you go to a blank space on the panel you right click and go to panel panel preferences now when we do that you will see a red line around the top panel and that means you're in edit mode um, so once you are in edit mode you can right click and go to add new items I think I chose the wrong menu there earlier so you'll go to add new items and once you are in that um, box choose whisker menu you'll scroll down to the bottom and click add now you see the menu that pops up here to the right that is your whisker menu so now we're going to uh, move that over to the left Un unless you like it you know on the right but most people use it over to the left so we'll uh, right click on that and go to move and you'll see a little red line that indicates where that icon will be where that menu will be if we were to left click so we're going to go all the way over to the left and we're going to hit left click so now you have put the uh, whisker menu on your panel and that means we no longer need the application menu now you could keep it there if you wanted both I just don't see uh, a reason for redun redundant menus so we're going to right click there and go remove so now we have the uh, default whisker menu well I say default if you're running Manjaro the default whisker menu now the other thing that was different is the other desktop in environments through ancestor Linux I'm kidding we'll <laughs> we could call it that if we wanted to that's what the word means uh, but the Numix icon theme um, and uh, desktop theme was applied on the other desktop environments I take that back with the exception of KDE uh, but it was applied on GNOME. Uh, it was applied on Mate, I believe, or Mate. Um, uh, don't hold my feet to the fire on that, but I'm pretty sure it was applied on those two. However, it's installed by default, so now we're going to go in and we're going to set that up. So uh, 
now we're in the whisker menu that's going to make it a little different we'll go to settings appearance and you see here numix frost numix frost light for the style we're going to go with frost and that kind of gives you that dark gray look and now we'll switch over to the icons which are numix square and we'll apply those and you see how quickly that's applied uh, across the uh, desktop environment xfce does a good job there uh, a lot of times it'll apply and you really don't even need to log out and log back in for everything to look right so uh, we're going to leave everything else alone for the sake of time i just wanted to give you a quick overview of of what you could expect on the xfce desktop all right so now we have that set up now the whisker menu is something that i appreciate especially after i found out where all of the settings were so i prefer the um, the categories that are now on the right i prefer those on the left and i also like to turn off the um, application description or program descript or, uh, descriptions so uh, we're going to step through that real fast so you right click on the whisker menu and you go to properties and then to change the uh, categories from the right side to the left you will click on behavior and then you'll click on position categories next to the panel button the other thing that we're going to change quickly and there are a lot of other settings and I, I've got a video that steps through uh, some of these settings uh, I believe it's titled XFCE settings I'll have to go back and look anyway um, the other thing I'm going to change is I'm going to toggle off uh, show application descriptions so once you've made those choices we're going to click close and now you'll see that's all changed so I have uh, I really like this setup this is something you know muscle memory this is what I'm familiar with so now your categories are here on the left with your applications and programs on the right and you'll notice since you remove the descriptions it's uh, you see a lot more in less area now the other thing I like about the whisker menu is you can really take this menu window and do with it what you will you could you know go crazy with it so, but I like that because on a long list of applications uh, now in this case we can't go down far enough but for most use case scenarios you can stretch that out and not have to worry or not worry worry is a bad choice of words but not mess with scrolling like we have here so like all that control so there we have very little scrolling so just wanted to give you a quick uh, glance here at at the XFCE desktop uh, as it would appear and then what you can do to change that appearance and to add that whisker menu for those of you who are interested in uh, Antergas. Um, you know, I, I'm very, very impressed with that distribution. So if you're interested in Arch um, and you want to, to have the ability to try various desktop environments, and I, I was chatting with a, a viewer today who is somewhat new to Linux um, and started out with Manjaro and has had, a, I think, a very good experience with Manjaro. I don't think he's looking back to uh, Windows 10. And now he's starting to explore with the uh, various desktop environments. So, you know, it, <coughs> excuse me, it can be overwhelming when you first get into Linux cause, because there is so much choice there. So um, hopefully this kind of helps you uh, determine maybe which desktop environment you would want to try first if you uh, give this distribution a try. All right, folks, that's it for now. We'll wrap it up and we will check you later. Thanks for watching.